My name is Scott Clark. I'm a search engine marketing consultant here in Lexington. I work with uh, corporations and agencies and web designers to help clients find their voice online. And I've been doing this full time now for over 10 years and uh, here in Lexington with clients all over the country. Start out well with search marketing. Uh, the first step is always to audit the site that they're working on, and also to have a conversation. And during that conversation, I am able to sense the attitude and the expectations a client has of their website, of their social media efforts, as well as the SEO work that they're doing. And usually within an hour-long meeting, we can determine what's most important for each one of those clients, and it varies every single time. But the first thing is to assess where they are and what their level of knowledge is in-house, uh, maybe what they've been sold in the past or what's worked and what hasn't worked. Though there's only really one web designer in the whole world and that is the customer. And you have to listen to the customer's behaviors and the way you do that is with website analytics and metrics. What may result out of that listening is often uncomfortable. It may be that the web designer sold you a Webby Award winning website that performs poorly in the business world. And then someone who's created something quite simple and produced fabulous content on it will blow it out of the water. It's often a matter of calling a baby ugly in order to get where we want to be in terms of business outcomes. But the numbers don't really lie. And if we see a, a website that's performing poorly, um, that cannot be ignored. Now, I try very hard to be diplomatic and friendly with the web design community, but uh, often it's a matter of compromise between a strong, sort of engaging aesthetic experience and the kinds of things that make the phone ring and the cash register ring. I'm really excited about the fact that many businesses in Lexington are starting to think about these issues and that there's a, a mindset of innovation that seems to be expanding out of just the web companies and into other more traditional businesses in town. We just went through the April events here in Lexington including Creative City Summit and TEDx Lex and now Watt Lexington and during those sessions I talked to a lot of people that are starting to think harder about how they appear online, what, lang what voices their companies have online, and what that it does for the city of Lexington as a whole cannot be underestimated. So I'm very happy to be running this business here in town and uh, more, more than ever. Um, a lot of really great smart people in town and I hope that uh, we hear more and more about those guys. Mm -hmm.